This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting episode of Weekend Magic. Alright, so I have a really fun deck for you guys today. This deck, this deck is so much fun because like when it goes off, it just goes off and swarms your opponent with so many saps that they just don't even know what they're doing. Alright, so it's called Dom Saps because it's Saperling based deck. So we're going to take a look at all the cards here. We have four Lava Coil for removal, uh, two Pollen Bright Druids from the new War of the Spark set. This gives us an option to put a plus one, plus one on something if we don't want it to get nuked or we can proliferate with it. Uh, it's just a really handy card for two casting costs, especially if you've managed to get plus one plus one counters on everything and you can drop it proliferate with it and then you know boost everything and then we of course we have four sapperling migrations then we have three of the song of the fray elise then we have four spore crown thalids two evolution sage this is just to help the proliferation more four of the yav Yavimaya Shepherd, you can, yeah, I don't even know how you pronounce that. Two Domri Anarch of Bolas, four Spore Swarms, three Sunder Shaman, four Tender Shoot Dryad, then Mountains, Plains, and you know, all those dual lands that you can throw in there. Then we have one of the Karn's Bastion. This is just to give us another Proliferate option. I just wanted one more card in there for Proliferate uh, that was more, you know, I can do it whenever I need to type situation. So basically, we rely on the song to put plus one, plus one counters on everything. And then we just smash. Now, if you don't have the song, it's okay because everything ends up getting boosted anyway, but the song really helps. Uh, and then Domri gives everything plus one, plus zero. And then we have the Tender Shoot, which gives everything uh, plus two, plus two. And it just, it just works. It has, everything has a low casting cost. And when you get a song and you play it, then you use the ability for all of your creatures to generate mana in order to cast something like Tender Shoot, or you proliferate and just bounce song faster because yes, proliferate does speed up sagas, which is super freaking handy because you can play this on one turn, then the next turn proliferate, which will go ahead and bounce it to the third turn and then get plus one plus one on everything and maybe proliferate again or just attack and have everything have vigilance trample and indestructible and yeah okay so we're gonna stop talking about it i'm gonna play it show you how it works and uh yeah let's jump into a few matches this is not the ideal starting hand but we have three lands so we're gonna keep it worst comes to worst we can cast one of these with the two casting costs instead of kicking it I prefer not to do that if I don't have to. I prefer to kick it to get maximum sap rolling action. But, uh, you know, sometimes you need those quick blockers. Okay, so we just drew that. That's actually really good for us. So we can play that on uh, turn three. If anything gets too crazy, we have the lava coil for removal. Oh, we have Domri too. Oh, this is looking great. Okay, so well, I think what we're going to do... Should we do Domri first? No, let's go ahead and cast this first and then we'll play him next turn. Because we don't have to worry about him getting countered. Because it looks like we're going against a tokens deck, which should be rather entertaining to see how this plays out. Okay, they still haven't cast anything, which worries me. Uh, could possibly be an angel's deck. Um, little, little worried there, but we're going to go ahead and play him. And that's going to buff these guys up, and then we're just going to attack in. Does he have removal for it? He's highlighting over it, he or she. It's Lord Eyes, could be could be either one. Does opponent... They, I mean, this is a new card, so it's going to get highlighted over a lot, because people aren't going to know what it is. It takes a little while for some people to to memorize exactly what the cards do. Okay, so now we have this situation here, but um, what we could do is play this and then... I should have already been upping him, but I forget to do that quite often. But what we can do is we can play that and then we can down it. 
have that, fight that, get a little removal in there. They both die, but I'm willing to make that sacrifice. And then we'll just attack in again. All right, so next time we have to remember, even if we don't use the mana to give him plus one, like I said, I often forget to, to do that. I love these new Planeswalkers with the static abilities. It's so freaking awesome. I'm, I'd be almost willing to give up a static ability for an alt, or give up an alt ability for a static ability pretty much any time. Uh, let's see. So they cast that. That's got hexproof. First thing we want to do is we want to throw one mana in there. Let's just make it green just because. And so we have four. No, we need, we're one short. What we can do is we can go ahead and we can cast this big boy, get him out there. I'm going to hold off on this until I can cast these. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to take out one, but we can't be scared. So let's just go ahead and shove that in there. Cause that also removes mana from them. The next turn they're going to have to deal with this big boy. So they may take the damage. And if we draw another land, then they're going to get Zapperling migration, which is going to be even more of a pain in the butt. Ooh, they buffed it to not lose it. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, um, maybe we cast this. No, we still don't have enough to do both. I could have cast this and then cast this with a kicker last turn. Oh, wait, we do have, we have Domri's mana. So one, two, three, four, five. No, we still don't have enough. In that case, here's what we're going to do. We're going to semi flood the board. Actually, no, you know what? We'll cast it on the next turn. I'm going to go ahead and get this out now. And we're just going to give him a plus one so that we can take out something later. If we have to, we can basically down him. And now I think I'm just going to attack him with this. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't want you to do that. Okay. Uh, we want to attack. Just this. So they have to block it. But they can block it with something rather large. I mean, I don't know if they're mana screwed or what the situation is here, but I feel like... Uh, you got a bunch of, oh, okay, they just got a bunch of buffs, it looks like. <laughs> really? Really? Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Alright, I got your number. Alright. We can play that game. We can play that game. Okay, so what, now what we're gonna do is... Oh, I don't have enough for both. I really want to lava coil that before it blows up because it can blow up really quickly. Um, we're going to take a gamble here. And we'll go ahead. Oh, you know what we can do? We can down him now. There we go. That solves that problem. New card. All right, so when it enters the battlefield, end of elves. Oh, creates a creature that fights her. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, well, all they all get plus one, plus one counters now, and we can play this. And should we lava? I mean, we can't lava coil that, so we have to lava coil this. Let's throw a red in there. And let's lava coil that. And opponent pretty much assumes that they've lost. Okay, well, that works for me then. You know, no, we're going to mulligan. Okay, that's a little bit better because we got the dual land. So we at least have some green. No, we don't need all that red. All right, so we'll drop that. I mean, I want the land, but I would prefer a little more green mana. I'd like to be able to at least cast this guy. 
On turn three, we can at least cast this. Oh god, we got a Hulk. Oh Jesus, really you're gonna give me another Shaman? Don't need a Shaman. Prefer pretty much anything else in the deck. So they're gonna keep pecking at us with that little fella. I might... Might nuke that little guy or just keep hitting them for three until they're forced to block. That could be an option. We'll see if they attack again. If he becomes too much of a nuisance. Oh, uh, Lava Coil. I hate to waste a Lava Coil on a Healer's Hulk though, but sometimes those Healer's Hulk can get big. And they're gonna attack in. Okay. So, do we get rid of the Hulk or do we... Well, that guy can kill more. Let's attack in and see what they do. We're not getting any land, which isn't helping us any, but I'm gonna attack first and see. So they're just gonna take it, okay. And what we'll do is we'll just nuke that. We really need another land so we can cast this. Ooh, that's not good. And if we can get this on the field early, then we can overrun them really quick. Hey, come on, give me- oh, nice, nice, there we go. Oops, really? Really? You're gonna be like that? Okay, I got your oops. There you go. And here comes the angel. That's not good at all. Ooh, that's not good. Um, we're gonna have to get that out. And I think... I think I'm just gonna attack with all... We're on a race here. I mean, we're gonna lose a creature, but I'm not that worried about it. They know that that's a thing, and if it gets through, it can kill this. So I don't know if they'll attack this next turn. Oh, she has Vigilance, so it doesn't matter. They can attack next turn. Okay, well, that's not good at all. If we don't get something to beef these guys up or another land, another land would be amazing because we could overrun them, I think, before they can do anything about it. They know this is a problem, but I can attack in and then they have to block because if they don't block, then I'll destroy that. And they don't know we have another one. Okay, I'm in turn first strike. That doesn't do you too, too much good. Unless you got a buff for it, which they may have a buff for it. What are you highlighting over that? You should know what that does. Just attack or don't attack. Like it drives me nuts when you say here just see people highlighting over their cards. Like you don't know that that gives your creatures plus one plus one? Or your flying creatures plus one plus one? We may have just lost. Uh, there's not too much we can do here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack with all, but I don't know if it's gonna make too much difference. Because we can't do enough damage, and then they're going to attack with all they have to do. We can't kill anything, and all they have to do is attack us again. And, uh, yeah, we don't have lethal. So, that was a quick game where we just didn't have enough to deal with everything in the air. Okay, this hand... This hand is actually pretty amazing. Okay, we're going to keep it. Provided this guy doesn't get kicked off the board as soon as I cast him. We're like, oh no, it's even better. Okay, this deck, this deck is gonna go off really quickly here. Although we're against black and red. Oh god, that's not good. Um, <laughs> that's not good at all. I don't like seeing that. So we're gonna go ahead and put him out there. They're gonna know what's about to happen, and we're at a race here because they're gonna make us sacrifice stuff as quickly as we're gonna get it on the board. We gotta hope that we can. Just swarm as quickly as possible. So if I play that, that does not give me enough to also play this. But we could play that last. If I play this, then I can play this for... Let's just play this for now. And then... Uh, no, we should play this now for two. I think this is the play. I think this is what we want to do. And then next turn play this. And Domri. Oh, there he goes. Knew that was going to happen. I mean, that's fine. We knew it was going to happen. 
The problem is, is I need to get more creatures on the board than they can sacrifice. Because if we have plenty of stuff to sacrifice, then it's not a big deal. Alright, so... Now, I mean, we they slowed us down a little bit, though, but we can play this. Get a bunch of them on the board. Okay, some ill-gotten inheritance, so we're on a clock here. Oh my god, the land. So it gives me a great starting hand and then floods me. That's fantastic. So we'll play Domri. So now they're all three twos. And uh, we'll attack with all. Okay, so that, that actually played out pretty well. Alright, so we'll end the turn. Oh, I forgot to up him. Dang it! See, I told y'all. I do that all the time. All the time. I could have honestly downed him, got rid of one of those, which is probably what I should have done, then one more would have gotten through. Um, but you know, I make misplays all the time. No big deal. And my opponent scoops it up because they already realized we're too far ahead. So that was just one of those games where it was just getting ahead of the deck. That deck's a little slow and pairs up better with slower decks that they can basically keep the creatures off the board. These swarm decks, that it's harder for them to play against, especially when you come out of the gate like we did in that matchup. Okay, this hand, I'm gonna keep it and see what we draw. If we draw into other stuff like other creatures, especially by turn three, this hand will be fantastic. If not, we done screwed ourselves. It's, we'll, we got another land. That's not good. That's not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is creatures. That doesn't help us either. And at least we have enough land to cast the Dryad by turn five. And another Dryad. Okay, well, looks like we're on that Dryad game this time. And we're going up against an artifact deck more than likely. So we still can't do much. We're just going to wait. Alright, so we're going to drop this just so that we can proliferate. And we'll go ahead and play this. An opponent lit up the stage, got Rao and Lightning Strike, which means this is most definitely going to get Lightning Strike. But we got to hope they don't have enough removal for all of them. This is definitely getting Lightning Strike. I'd be surprised if they don't. And there it goes. And that gets them another Servo. Now the question is, do they have enough removal for all of the Dryads? That's my, that's my big concern. They're going to sacrifice it because they know they got more. I'll go ahead and take that sacrifice. All right, so... I guess we just play... Play it again. Hope that they don't have more removal. Because there's not a whole lot we can do about it if they do. Okay, light up the stage again. Oh, that's not good to see. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see flyers. <laughs> Although, we may overrun them before they have a chance to do anything. But I'm not going to play all, the, all of these because they may have a board clear. And I want to hold on to it. I will, however, play that. And that. And that. An opponent, opponent just scoops it up before they, <laughs> before we even get a chance to play it out. They scoop it up. Really? You're just gonna, okay. All right, then I see how it is. Okay. So that actually tends to happen a good bit with this deck. And, uh, it's kind of funny cause they know what they're in store for. It needs a little bit more optimization, but overall I feel like it works out pretty well. Maybe put in another song and remove I don't know something I'm not sure what exactly to remove maybe one of these guys because uh, they're a little harder to cast and the deck kind of relies on everything having a plus one plus one K 
counter on it, or maybe there's another card that allows us to more easily put plus one, plus one counters on things. I don't know, but it works out pretty well most of the time. Um, you know within the first couple of turns whether you're going to lose or not. And uh, yeah, all right, so as usual, the link for it will be in the description. If you check it out, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.